And so this is uh, calculating the angle of refraction question, grade 11 physics class. Uh, we'll be using Snell's law. So if you're kind of following along and have your formula sheet out, try and locate that before you get started. It's question 29 from your worksheet. The ray of light passes from water into carbon disulfide. And the formula that's CS2, if you remember from your chemistry. The index of refraction is 1.63. Angle of incidence of 30 degrees. What is the angle of refraction in the carbon disulfide? So again, the most complicated parts of these questions is often just putting the right index refraction with the right angle. So I'm going to start with Snell's law. N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. Now the formula is a little bit different looking than on your formula sheet. On the formula sheet I use I's for incident and R's for refracted. Uh, we can do the same thing here as the formula sheet, I guess, just to be consistent. But the ones and twos might make a little bit more sense, so feel free to use those. One being the first material, and two being the second material. So it goes water into carbon sulfide. So the incident material, it's incident inside the water, its index for fractions 1.33. And the angle of incidence, given right from the problem, 30 degrees. So read these very carefully. Carbon disulfide is what it is going into. It's the, ref the material where the refraction occurs. Its index is 1.63. And we're trying to figure out what that angle is. Before you do any calculations, you should know that your answer should be less than 30 because it's going to slow down. The bigger index of refraction means light travels slower inside your carbon disulfide than in water. So it's going to slow down and bend down towards the normal line. We picture that from glass. Now let's put everything in here. 1.33 sine 30 equals 1.63 sine of our refracted angle. So working out the left side, 1.33 times sine 30. Sine 30 is a half, so that's 0 0.665 equals 1.63 sine of the refracted angle. Divide both sides by the 1.63. Uh, we get on the left 0 0.4079, and I'll do one more. That rounds to an 8. That equals the sine of a refracted angle. When you're doing these on tests and quizzes to get consistent answers, make sure you keep at least four decimal places before you do the inverse sine. If you don't keep four, if you only kept two, for example, you could get an answer that's like degrees away from what I would have and I might be thinking you're wrong. I don't want to take marks off and I don't have to. So the angle is inverse, or the arc sine, whatever you call it in your math class, of that number. Refracted angle is going to be 24 degrees, which is less than 30. So conceptually, that makes sense. And I think we're good to go.